Small business continues to be the incubator for innovation and growth throughout America. If you're a small business just starting out, Andrew Fry has a few words of advice to help you succeed on this episode of Tacoma Means Business. One of the fun advantages of having your own business, especially a smaller business, is the idea that you can put together a home office. You have a home office, it saves money on commute time, it gives you a sense of control over your space and so on, but there are some key components you absolutely must think about before you even begin the process. You need to think about equipment, you need to think about lighting, you need to think about privacy, you need to think about storage and organization. There's actually a lot that goes on in creating your own home office. And so what is the first step? Well, in my case, I always suggest the first step is make a list. Make a list to be sure that you're covering all of these bases. And that means that you also have to understand a little bit about yourself. So when you're coming up with this room and you're thinking about uh, how much time you need, how much light you need and so on, make certain that you have the right equipment for the job that you're doing. Don't hold back on the correct equipment because that's going to be the determination as to whether or not you're efficient in the work that you do and that's going to be very important. Another thought you might take into consideration is whether or not you establish office hours for yourself. Now obviously there's freedom. There's freedom in a home office. There's freedom in running your own business. And so it could be rather easy to just say, yeah, I'm going to go in there and work when I feel like working. The truth of it is you'll be better off if you say, and I have dedicated office hours on Tuesdays and Thursdays from one until four. And know that that is a time that you'll be spending there. Some of the things that people overlook in regards to that is this idea of privacy. Well, I've got this chair, I've got this desk, I'll set it up here. Well, can you really ignore that plasma television? I know I'd have a hard time doing that. So oftentimes, especially if you have a spouse, uh, pets, kids, a roommate, if you can get a room with a closing door. Now, if you're getting a room with a closing door, it comes back to one of the important things that I talked about, and that is lighting. You know, we forget how important lighting is to us in terms of getting the job done. You may find a nice little nook, a nice little cranny to get into and do your work, but if the lighting's not good, you're gonna find that's difficult to keep your energy up. What do you need? Now, if you can get natural lighting, that'd be a great thing to include within your office space list. Yeah. So you've taken care of quite a few things already. You've got the necessary equipment. You have set up privacy so that you're not going to be interrupted. You've established office hours. So if there's something comes up and you need to conduct a meeting, you now know when you're going to be available because it's your habit right now. And you've got enough organization so that if you need storage capabilities, and you might say, well, I don't need storage. Uh, I'm a writer. Well, if you're a writer, where are you keeping your reference books? You know, where are keeping the books that you read? Because writers read. <laughs> where are you keeping your office supplies? Where are you keeping your drafts? And where is your file cabinet go? No matter what you're doing in a hobby or in a business, you're going to need some place to store all that material. So keep these things in mind if you're setting up a home office. And if you follow those instructions, uh, you're going to find they have a better chance of enjoying the, the location that you've determined as well as being a good business in it. Thanks, Andrew. For more ways on growing your business, check out Tacoma's Community and Economic Development Program at MakeItTacoma.com.